Hey, welcome back. Let's check out the Nightcore MT1A Pro, a pocket size powerhouse. The MT1A Pro came with the owner's manual, a USB C charging cable, and a really nice lanyard. It also came with a really nice pocket clip too. It's got just the right amount of tension on it and it's one of those pocket clips that you can clip onto the bill of your cap too. And the battery is a USB-C rechargeable 14500, 1100 milliamps. So far, I've had it uh, for over a week, and I've uh, charged it when I first got it, and it is still holding a really good charge. So it works really good. There's a low, medium, and high. You can tell this is a very high candela light got a definite spotlight effect to it. It's got a really good throw to it. Those trees are about 250 feet away. You can see them really clearly tonight. There's a full moon, but it's still plenty dark where I live. Very impressive. I like it. Here's the advertised lumens and runtime. On high, 800 lumens for an hour. In medium, 300 lumens for an hour and 45 minutes. And low, which is 50 lumens, 10 hours. The function is pretty straightforward. It's going to push button. And this is medium. And to go through the modes, you don't have to fully click it. You can just push about a half click. That's on high. Low. Medium high, low, and wherever you leave off, if I close it on low, turn it back on, it's back on low. So that's really nice. Another feature that I really like is that it will tail stand. And uh, having a light that will tail stand is really helpful when uh, the power goes out. You can uh, set it on a table like that, bounce the light off the ceiling, and light up a room. So really handy. I like the uh, tail switch here. It's really thick rubber. I don't think you'll have any problem with that wearing out. I also like that it's thin waisted and there's some really good knurling on the waist there. So you can hold it between your knuckles like that and turn it on and off. So uh, the advantage of that is this would make a fairly good unmounted weapon light. So you can hold it with your support hand and turn your light on and off like that and still have some support for your firing hand if you want to use it that way. And there's the marking. Nightcore MT1A Pro. It's got a warning label here for hot and this does get hot on high. It's a very powerful flashlight. We're about 10 feet back from a wall that's been painted with a highly reflective white movie screen paint. And uh, you can see the light pattern here. This is the light on low. This is medium. And this is high. You can see a very clear kind of spotlight effect in the middle. And that's what gives this light its uh, tremendous throw. It's got a very good uh, throw at distance really punches out there. There it is on low again. And uh, there aren't any, you know, distracting artifacts in the light. There is uh, quite a bit of spill over, but most of the light is concentrated in that, uh, that circle there. Again, this is at 10 feet, so it's a lot smaller than it would be at distance, but it gives you a good representation of the light pattern that you're getting. So I think this has a lot of potential to be a really classic flashlight. I've carried 
a Streamlight MicroStream for many years, and a lot of other people have too, and that's kind of a classic flashlight. Like uh, most people have had that flashlight or still carry it. And I think this has a potential to replace that as like the EDC Classic. It's more powerful. It will tail stand. It's got a lot of throw and candela. So I guess I should explain that. So this is a very powerful flashlight. This is on high and it's, uh, it's making my hand warm already. So it's got a lot of power and it's got a lot of throw. Uh, for those of you who are brand new to flashlights, lumens is the measurement of how bright a light is. And candela is a measurement of how um, intense the flashlight is, how uh, compact the beam is, um, how well it delivers the light at distance. So this has uh, some usefulness as a self-defense tool. If you're uh, shining this in someone's eyes, they can't see what's going on behind here. All they see is this, this bright light. If you've ever been pulled over by the cops, uh, they will shine a light in the not that I ever have, but I've seen it on TV. They will pull, pull a flashlight and shine it in the window. Uh, for one thing, they want to see what's going on inside the car. Uh, but, uh, you know, it does kind of throw you off and you can't see what's going on behind here. Uh, everything back here is a mystery. You don't know what is happening back here. So as a defensive tool, I guess, I think a flashlight is very important. But it has to be one that has... A lot of throw to it and has uh, a high candela rating. I don't know what the candela rating is on this, but uh, this is making my hand warm. So it punches out there and I think it would be a very useful and convenient uh, self-defense tool and a flashlight. So it's nice to have a flashlight that you use as an EDC flashlight that if you had to use it um, as a self-defense tool, you could. Also, I live in the mountains and there's really thick underbrush and being able to, at night, punch through that underbrush and really see in there what's, what's rustling in the woods out there. Uh, as I'm walking my dog, is there a bear out there? Uh, it's got some usefulness for that. Also in foggy conditions, you know, it can really blast through that fog. So a really, really useful flashlight in a very compact size. I've been carrying this around a little over a week now. And it's been in my pocket. I haven't noticed it. It's not heavy. And I haven't carried a flashlight in a long time that I could do that. And I think, you know, as a, not as a dedicated weapon light, but as one that you would have with your everyday carry if you weren't going to mount a light on your weapon. Having one that you can hold with your support hand, uh, I think would be very useful. Not that I'm an expert. I'm just thinking. <laughs> All right, there you go. This is a wonderful flashlight. Thank you, Nightcore, for sending it along for me to check out and to share with you guys. And uh, I think it's a good one. All right, bye.